Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a video all about the bitter orange fragrance note and loads of perfumes that have this in, my favourites. If you're new here, then welcome, it's all about perfumes. Check out all my other perfume note videos, I have hundreds of videos on perfumes. And do subscribe if you're a regular viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you there, do show your support. So bitter orange, um, actually I've been a bit inspired by this Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine um, which I um, got the other week and I've been wearing it and I'm just loving Bitter Orange and it reminded me how much I do love Bitter Orange as a fragrance note but before we get into it let's talk about what even is Bitter Orange so for a long time I thought it was just orange with like bitterness added or something but it is actually a whole different fruit to orange and I think it's supposed to be where grapefruits and oranges have interbred and um, produce this bitter orange which has that bitterness of a grapefruit in but it's still an orange. It's sometimes called Seville orange, marmalade orange, sour orange and it's originally from Southeast Asia but has spread all over the world. So let's kick off with Orange Sanguine. So Atelier Cologne, you might have noticed them. They've been around for a while, but most recently, the past few years, we started seeing them really gain popularity. And they make colognes, which is something that's lighter than an eau de toilette, but you um, would spray a lot of it. And all their fragrances are unisex. I've done a video on them, actually. Um, I'll leave it linked. And they do a lot of these citrusy type perfumes. So they're Orange Sanguine. I have a a sort of 10 mil or something of the four mil of this here mmm it's so refreshing it is unisex this one and um, but I, 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 it doesn't smell masculine at all bitter orange like it smells fresh but sometimes like I find if something is an orange or a lemon perfume it doesn't last that long so having bitter orange I find just has a little bit more zing a little bit more depth to the fragrance note which helps it last a bit more and helps with projection as well. So Orange Sanguine also has Blood Orange in which is another one I love. Let me know if you want a Blood Orange video as well. And then it has Tonka Bean, Amber, Geranium so that's what's helping it last. Mm, and that's what's making it more than just a, like a room spray that smells like an orange like this is probably a perfume but but very blood orangey. So yeah really enjoying that. I also got, and this is obviously a bigger size, the Bergamont Soleil. Now this of course has Bergamont in, mm, but it also has bitter orange. This actually has more greener notes in and a bit of lavender as well. So this reminds me of a sort of Eau Sauvage, citrus fresh. This is definitely unisex. But yeah, if you love, if you love lemons but you want something a bit sharper, then these two are lovely options. Another bitter orange is Bulgari's Omnia Pariba, which is predominantly passion fruit. I love this perfume, can't stop thinking about it lately. And um, but also bitter orange, and it comes in the fun Omnia, like funny, it's like a shell, isn't it? And it's it's just really cool perfume. Um, eau de toilette, so more for your sort of topping up throughout the day and on holiday perhaps, and just when you're feeling summery. You might remember Machino's Funny. So Machino Funny has bitter orange as its main note. It's a very light, fresh perfume. It has like a green tea, a peony, fresh notes, I think some berries, but bitter orange is definitely the main note that comes through for me. And I find this a light-hearted, fun, fresh perfume, as we'd expect from Machino, and especially with a name like Funny and a bottle like that. Um, but yeah, a little bit zesty with like sharp with that bitter orange. Guerlain, of course, have their whole Aqua Allegoria range, which has loads of citrusy options in. So Mandarin Basilique, which is like Mandarin and Basil, has Mandarin and Orange in, but it also has Bitter Orange. This is a very green, orangey, a grassy orangey. But then they also have Neo Neroli Blanca in this Aqua Allegoria range, which is more like an orange blossom and Bitter Orange. So a bit more lighter, a bit more flowery, fresher rather than um, Mandarin Basilique which is quite green and almost has a yeah very grassy I think I prefer Neroli Blanca I've done a video actually on the whole Aqua Allegoria range because they are very special and the bottle is very beautiful and classic so I'll leave that link for you guys 
Thinking about a bit more mainstream common perfume, Armani Code, believe it or not, has bitter orange in, a very orangey perfume, like a honeyed orange, warm, comforting orange. But yeah, this has bitter orange in, you guys. Another brand or person that I think of when I think of notes like bitter orange is Jo Malone. So Jo Malone, um, sold her Jo Malone company to Estee Lauder and now has this brand called Jo Loves which has a shop here in London. So one of her popular perfumes called Mandarin is very bitter orangey. I really like it. I've been and done a whole like fragrance testing experience and I loved so many of them. Um, her flagship Jo by Jo Loves is really nice as well, citrusy. Um, but yeah, Mandarin is that bitter orange with some bergamot and some like floral tea. She also has one called Green Orange and Coriander, which um, as you'd expect is a coriandery orange, bitter orange. So a bit greener, a bit more edible, a bit more oriental. And then the Jo Malone London brand, which is owned by Estee Lauder, has orange bitters. Now this is very much bitter orange, but it's more of a woody and ambery and deeper bitter orange. I'd say this is more something that could be worn throughout autumn and winter as well as during the spring summer so unlike a lot of bitter orange which is very fresh like summery perfume zesty uplifting this is more like deep and bitter they've even put a little bit of plum in there which i find to be a very autumnal note but very orangey but just deep and bitter and nice and the bottle's really interesting and this is for a serious connoisseur of bitter orange l'occitane have an orange leaves perfume which has bitter orange in of course um they do very much love those citrus notes so they have one dedicated to bitter orangey notes Toka also have a perfume called stella which is blood orange and bitter orange so again i'd say this is a bit more less strong on the bitter orange and has more like of the floral notes coming through and more um uh, warm uh, feminine notes but still bitter orange is the main note then moving towards the more higher end perfumes her mares have their neuroli or this is neuroli and bitter orange so very very zesty citrusy you can tell by the bottle it's going to be very zesty um but it has a very classy feel to it you can tell it's a expensive fancy Hermes perfume and then another quite expensive one neuroli portofino from tom ford again this is neuroli bitter orange orange blossom orange flower all those notes really fresh really lovely mediterranean vibes fresh summer's day smelling and eating a bit of orange for breakfast perhaps um, but quite pricey and don't forget lastly that poison girl even though it has loads of other notes in vanilla almond you know sweet notes it does also have bitter orange in as well there to make it a little bit fruity so i thought i'd just throw that in there as a wild card so that's it guys i'll leave links down below to where you can get all these uk and us um and all around the world but let me know what you think of bitter orange which are your favorites if you've tried any of these if you've got any of these let me know i do love it it's definitely an underrated note that we don't hear much about but i think it's really nice and fun and fruity but serious um so that's it guys like i said do subscribe if you're not already i'd love to have you here and i'll see you in that next video so bye for now